famous Tanzanian football club Simba is celebrating its 80th birthday this month, and it's just received a birthday present to the tune of $10 million. Simba is one of East Africa's biggest and most historic teams, but right now they're in need of investment and facilities, so they hope a deal with Tanzania's richest man is a good place to start. Mohamed Daouji is buying a 51% stake in the club, and the longtime Simba fans promise to quadruple the budget for both players and facilities. It's probably a groundbreaking uh, move that's uh, happened because nothing like this has ever happened in, uh, in football in Tanzania. Simba is, uh, and all the other clubs in Tanzania have come from uh, an amateur, amateur system of running football. So this is quite new. Historically, the Tanzanian league has been dominated by Simba and arch-rivals Yanga. But Simba hasn't won a title in four years. The club's also facing a new threat in the form of the wealthy Azam FC. So fans are hoping the budget boost will lead to titles. As you can see now, since Mohamed Dewuji joined Simba and uh, initiated the plan, we are now possessing several players like Mavugo and so many. And we are happy with that. And in case of Mo Dewuji, it's a good deal because he loves Simba. And in case of Mo Dewuji, we need uh, to be a champion. Burundian Laudit Mavugo is just one of a number of new players who've joined the club. And the coaching staff say Mohamed Dewuji will be even more of a positive influence. I think it's always good because you know football these days is very commercial, football is a business, football is too commercial now, football has been commercialized all over the world and uh, if, if he is really coming in to work around uh, the executive members who are within the team, I think it's going to be together. If they work together, I think it's going to be a good thing. Simba may be an old club in Tanzania, but with the new season about to start, it's set for a new lease of life. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Tanzania.